All right, Pinball fans, I'm going to do a short video today on uh, popper recording. I see a lot of people having issues. Even on my um, record bat files, I see a lot of people having issues. For some reason, they can't uh, get the record uh, buttons to work, or it records double, or I don't know. It's not recording the right thing. For some reason, you're having issues. So what I did, I did a fresh install of Baller. This is a new version. Uh, it's complete. Uh, I did the updater. So if I hit uh, popper config, I hit my updater, hit yes, check updates. There's no updates. Okay. I just did this on the latest baller with updates. Okay. So there's a few things you need to set up uh, for your recording. So you want to go to pinup system. Uh, it's in recordings. Sorry. Recordings. This record start dot bat. So you want to right click and edit this, and you need to set it up um, for your machine. So if you're on a 4K, you want to press 4K. Uh, even if you're on 2K, this is a 2K screen. I still use 4K recording. It works fine. Uh, if you want 60 FPS, you go ahead and put that to one. And if you have an NVIDIA card, you leave that on one. If you don't, you put it on zero. Okay. So that's the main things. Um, so we'll save that. Then you want to go back and you want to go to launch. All right. Now you won't have these extra ones, but you should have record all screens dot bat. I will provide the other ones in uh, download in the description below. Um, these are ones that I made for the menu, but, um, you can add them if you want. You don't need to. Um, so we're going to right click and edit this. Okay, so basically you need to set your screens which you have. So um, luckily it comes pre-configured like this and I have a, so three it's showing you it's recording play field, two which is back glass, and five which is full DMD. Now these are not your screen numbers, these are just popper screen numbers so leave, you know, don't don't change those. So this is the screen, this is what it's recording and how long it records. So um, I'm just going to put all mine 10 seconds. Um, so if you have a slim DMD, you would want to change this full DMD to 1. So basically you would just change 5 to 1. And if you have a topper, um, you could just copy one of these lines. Copy. Go down below, paste it and then add a zero just like that so your topper is zero so that would do record all four screens so basically you need to set this how many screens you uh, have and which ones you need okay so that's what I have I got three screens with full DMD so I'm gonna save that now what I was gonna show you earlier is if you go down you have Popper Operator Edit.exe. So if I open that up, that gives me my Popper Operator menu. Now what I did, I edited this to add my extra bat files that I made. So basically you can just press the button. So if you're in game and you just need to re-record a bat glass or a play field, say you got an updated version of a table, you just need to re-record the play field, you can go in there and hit play field, um, record, and it'll just automatically record it. You don't have to start and stop and all that. You just hit that, hit record it, um, and everything didn't add it. But these things need to be ex set exactly right and only thing that you'll change like the, you need to erase the numbers out of here you need to put all these to one and this on the end is if it's active or not so like I do not have a topper so I'll just put that to zero and that means it won't show in the menu so like when you're looking in a proper record menu you won't see topper same with slim DMD I'm not doing slim DMD I'm just recording the full DMD so I will not see that Okay, but you can leave them all on. You can have one for all of them, um, just to be safe. But these need to be spelled and spaced exactly. You need to have the dot bat. All I did was copy and paste and put them in here. Okay, and then you hit save. So, 
Now we're going to talk about the Popper Auto Record. So let's go here. Welcome to Popper Auto Record Utility. I'm going to put it on VPX. I'm going to hit Scan. All right. Well, I take that back. Before I do, that, you need to check over here what you're actually running. So I don't. I'm not using the Slim DMD. So we can don't record. I got back glass, play field, and full DMD. So only if missing. All right. We'll put that, and I'm only going to record play to field for 10 seconds. You can do it however long you want. Um, and I'll change this delay. If you have a fast system, 10 seconds is plenty. If you got a slow system, of course, uh, make that longer. Um, so, it shows you all the tables I have. Um, actually, I'm going to. I don't want to do all of them. I'm just going to do a preview. So I'm going to show you what I got. Um, actually, let me get out of here. I'll show you my popper. All I did was um, I added a, a, a couple of tables. So if I look in my popper config, I go to uh, my game manager. This is all I have. I just added a few tables with full back, uh, full DMD back glasses. Set those up uh, accordingly. Um, do your alt launch so whatever tables like no fear make sure you put a uh, you know your alt launch for those so they run in 10.8 uh, then I'll launch this and show you what it looks like you'll see I don't have any uh, all I have I added the wheels ahead of time but that's it that's all I got except for the the one that comes with it, of course. Um, but all the rest of these. Alright. So, let's get out of there. I'm going to go to the Popper Auto Record. Welcome to Popper Auto Record Utility. I'm going to scan. I'm going to delete all these but one just to show you. So, we're going to record 24. Alright. So, let's hit this. Start auto record. Yes. All right. As you can see, I recorded my media for it. So let's exit out of here. Um. What else was I gonna do? Okay, so now I want to show you the in-game menu. So let's let's close this. Let's just go to uh, popper uh, popper front end. All right. All right. So we're in here. Let's go to. We'll just launch Adam's family. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. All right. Now you can hit O for your operator menu. You can go down, record displays, and he has a record all. You'll have this. It's already set up. Like I said, if you did the um, record all bat, if you set that right, you could just press this. Okay. So we're going to hit record all. Now recording playfield. All right. It is finished that. So we'll back out. And there you go. It's got all the media already on there. Um, like I said, and then if you wanted to do my bat files, you could um, let's enter Elvis. I'll show you that. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Okay, so I can hit O for the operator menu and go down to recordings. Now, if I just wanted to record the, uh, we'll just say the full DMD. So I go here, hit enter. Now recording full DMD. Please, everything is complete. That's Enjoy. it. So when I exit out of here, you'll see it recorded the full DMD. All right. So like I said, um, the bat files work. You just have to have the the wording and everything perfectly. Uh, the settings and all that. 
Um, like I said, make sure you set up. Um, make sure you set up your start file correctly. The uh, record start. Make sure that you don't have um, an old output MP4 stuck in some large ones stuck up here. Um, you'll see the last thing you record in there. But, um, like I said, make sure you don't have, sometimes if someone mess up a recording, you'll have one stuck in here, and it'll be like some long, I, I had one that was in the gigs, where I, I hit record, but I did it through the um, popper menu, and I walked away, and I forgot you had to hit the button again to stop it recording. It only goes up to one minute, but if you're recording a minute in 4K, it, it makes a huge file, and it kind of messed up. So I had to come in here and delete it. That's kind of what made me make those uh, bat files. So I didn't uh, accidentally, you know, record some long video and mess up. All right, guys. Till next time. I hope that helps. I'll try to do a video on the uh, Pinball FX. I don't have it on this system, so I'll have to install Pinball FX right quick and show how to set up the uh, external DMD for that. And you can actually get colored ROMs and stuff to work too with Pinball FX, so that's kind of cool. And it works for Pinball M the same way. All right, so till next time, peace out.